when they told me that I had breast cancer, it was like the whole world came down. It's a very personal um, illness because it affects the way you, you look at yourself afterwards. It's a body image. It's impossible to hide for your children, certainly if you have a mastectomy. I really feel that it became almost like the perfect storm, the fact that I received this diagnosis. I was a physician. I became a breast cancer patient and my husband and I were willing to put money into building something that would change how breast cancer patients were treated at Mount Sinai. Okay, so here is the entrance. That meant going beyond the bricks and mortar. I want every patient to know that when she or he enters the Dubin Breast Center, they will be the center of attention. My vision for the center took shape thanks to help from countless doctors, nurses, researchers, and patients. And under the leadership of co-directors Dr. George Raptis and Dr. Elisa Port, the 15,000 square foot facility will open its doors to an intimate setting focused on multidisciplinary care. We are really going to focus on prevention, detection, treatment, and survivorship. We actually started with a clean piece of paper and went to various groups and had focus groups asking, what is it that you perceive is an unmet need? What would you like to see in a coordinated breast center and program? No woman wants to see a surgeon after feeling a lump and be told, go home and come back in three days and we'll uh, do an ultrasound. We want results now. We wanted them yesterday. And the dynamic in the Dubin Center is going to provide for that. She and I agree, we don't treat breast cancer. We treat a person who has breast cancer. And that is very humanizing. And that's very consistent with how we see our roles here at the Dubin Breast Center. We treat people with breast cancer, people at risk for that disease, their families. When a patient comes to the Dubin Breast Center, he or she will have access to medical services ranging from diagnostics to chemotherapy, along with complementary medicine, including nutrition, oncofertility, and quality of life counseling. Not all patients need everything, but there are different aspects of breast cancer care that involve surgery. Almost all patients need surgery. Almost all patients need imaging. Many, many patients see an oncologist radiation. Access to all of these specialists will be pretty much under one roof. We're an exceptional patient-centered breast care center living within Cancer Institute, living within a large exceptional academic medical center that houses these programs and helps provide exceptional multidisciplinary care and access to that care. Since breast cancer affects one in eight women in America, we want to help today's patients as well as those of tomorrow. Dr. Raptis offers a powerful example of why this is so important. I have four daughters and I have one wife, all very dear to me, that I live with every day. And if nothing else changes, there's greater than 50% chance that one of them could have breast cancer. While the Dubin Breast Center can rely on the expertise of Mount Sinai's renowned doctors, nurses, and researchers, the center will need continued private funding to run its many services. The idea is you don't have to go further. Once you get to the Dubin Breast Center, you can stay with us. We will take excellent care of you. The Dubin Breast Center is scheduled to open in March 2011. To learn more about the center, including ways you can help in its mission, please visit dubenbreastcenter.org.